PWCs, LPRs, Google Glasses, biometrics, these phrases, five, ten years before today, we would not have known what they meant. The world really has changed. Uh, we've all got a computer in our pockets. News media, they're communicating with the public, public's communicating with them. We need to go wherever the public is. We need to be there to help them, help protect them, because there's lots of vulnerable people out there, right? But we need to do it without violating people's rights. And so what the courts are going to do is they're going to focus on three words. They're gonna focus on expectation of privacy. Should I be monitoring what people are openly sharing for the world to see? The privacy interests of the public and the legitimate law enforcement purposes and interests in order to apprehend and prosecute criminals. Using the internet to obtain information about suspects, witnesses, victims, they're using it to provide them a glimpse of information that they can get without a warrant, without a subpoena. We're not focused on individuals. We're looking for criminal activity. We're looking for cries for help. Suicidal people, which we found many and prevented many suicides by doing this. But what we've seen in these cases, Facebook postings, YouTube videos, information from Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, is how do we get this evidence admitted into court? There's authenticity problems, there's preservation problems, collection problems, and storage problems. This area is expanding and there's going to be case law that's going to just blow up in this area. And so as the new technology comes through the systems and people appeal their cases and it goes up to the appellate courts, we're going to see more and more case law on this subject matter. But I've kind of come to the conclusion, Big Brother is everybody in this room and everybody in the community now who's everybody's monitoring each other and posting everything I do and you do on the internet.